Well, hello there, everybody. Dre here, and welcome back to Teardown, ladies and gentlemen. Today, we're going to be checking out the Folk Race DLC expansion that is coming out right now, and I am so excited for this. It's going to be a racing-inspired expansion, it seems like. Uh, as with all the other DLCs, it comes with its own unique campaign, which is what we're doing right now. I guess I got some tips, so that's good, and I should probably figure out what's going on on board. When are you coming to the garage today? Uh, I guess that's what we have to do now. Hello? Gordon Wu is throwing money at Folk Race again. Okay. Oh my god, my phone is going like crazy. Even with that rusty old thing you drive around, I bet you'd earn more money in Folk Race than at that gas station gig. What do you say? We can get signed up at my place. Sounds good to me. Let's get the heck out of here. Can I... Can I get through here? Of course I can. This is teardown. <laughs> All right. Well, goodbye, old job. I don't know how to open you. I'm just going to get through <laughs> just love this already. Oh, I'm so excited. Teardown really hasn't done much in terms of racing, so this is really, really cool. Um, oh, I guess I was supposed to actually just manually turn it off. That works too. I just destroyed everything. This is my starting car. Oh, this feels good. Now, I, di I did see with the update as well, the physics are supposed to be better. Well, I shouldn't say the physics are supposed to be better. There's an enf enhanced vehicle destruction system. Vehicles have always been very rigid. Their frames are actually unbreakable. I'm very curious to see if that has changed now or something like that. Uh, but yes, there's a bunch of new vehicles as well. There's a bunch of new stuff. M multiple new maps. Always a good time. Uh, that was weird. Uh, my brakes weren't really working there. So do we have to like actually upgrade this thing? Because that is crazy if that's the case. Oh, that opens up that way. Okay. All right, so it looks like we got a nice garage here. I'm assuming we're going to be working on this thing. Man, the brakes suck on this. Ah, uh, there we go. I don't know if I'm going to be working on that right now. I just know I have to find the computer, which is right up here. And whoa. Okay, this is a lot different. Um, Career. Earn stars by securing a podium finish in each race. Stars generate income and unlock additional championships, cars, and engines. So this is like a whole new game once again in Teardown. I love Teardown, man. Their DLC is always fantastic. All right, so it sounds like we're going to be playing a lot of races right now. Let's get to the first race and see how we can do with these new physics and whatnot. So many of you must choose the appropriate class tier to participate in this race. So there is classes as well. Looks like we're in like a group B type setting. And our first race is here. Everyone's got an HP bar. Oh, I don't think we're going to do very well in the first race. We have to upgrade this thing a little bit, probably. But this is going to be so cool to see. Teardown has always been a little bit of a letdown when it comes to racing. So I think they've improved it immensely. Let's get some brakes going. I just want to make sure. Oh, wow. Yeah, the sliding, the physics feels so much better. Something hard to, like, showcase on video. All right, someone took out a tree. I guess I'll take out that tree as well. Oh, use the nitro boost to jump over the swamp. Oh, mother of God. Okay. Well, that was actually very smooth. That went very well. All right, I thought I was in first, but I am seeing Paul is way ahead of me, and I think I'm actually in third right now. Get out of the way, pumpkins. Oh, just the, just the destruction physics in a racing game. This is great. Okay, I hear train. Oh, my God. <laughs> Good thing I heard that. I would have took that way too wide. Oh, actually, they both screwed up. Rose and Paul both screwed up. I'm going to take the shortcut over here. This is going to be close. There we go. Took the lead right at the end, I think. Boost. And that was very, very smooth. Man, the driving just feels so good. Oh, he's right behind me. Oh, no. Get the frig away from me. Okay, I'm going to have to utilize my boost. I am not fast enough to keep in the lead here. So we want to be using this boost as much as we can. No, 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 no. I'm out of boost. I'm out of boost. I'm out oh, of frig off. Oh my god, how much closer could that be? What a first race. Okay, that was a bit rough. I don't feel like a winner anymore. All right, so yeah, we got $3,000 for that. I'm going to need that $3,000 for my new car. What is going on with this train? There we go. Let's get back to the garage. And what an introduction that was. Oh, that was great. Uh, I do know that's not just racing, by the way. We're going to have to do some heisting and whatnot, too. So if you like the OG teardown, and I very much do... Uh, that's part of this as well, of course, as well. All right, so it sounds like we're going to do some rust removal now. Uh, so, yeah, we are going to be slowly upgrading this car. Workshop. Yeah, we're doing this. And skin standard. Is this really going to change anything? All right, I guess I'll buy that, though. Look a little bit more professional. And buy. All right, and we can get paint jobs soon, but he's he's ordered the pieces. We don't have them just yet. 
Uh, so yeah, I guess we'll continue our way down the championship. And yes, as I just said, we now have heisting as well. So it looks like you have the option. Some people really don't like the heist and tear down. I do. But if you just want to race, you can, of course, just race with this DLC, which seems to be smart because this is racing focus. Some people don't want to do the heisting. I uh, just want to look at the car shop too. We do have quite a few cars, off-roaders. Uh, as I said, there's a lot of new cars in here too. So this is very, very cool. Some van racing. Uh, and then of course, monster trucks and industrial, a garbage truck. I wonder what that would be for. Maybe some sort of destruction derby. All right, so I think we'll finish up this folk race for newbies uh, just to get this done. And so far, I mean, that first track was fantastic. I love that they had like random events going on, the train and the farmers and whatnot. Hopefully, more of that will happen. Elim elimination mode rules. After each time cycle, race from last place. Okay, so yeah, this one is... It's, we're going to be eliminated if we're in last place. Okay, and that's a little bit worrying because it's not like I have a fast car and I start out in last place. There's no qualifying in this game, unfortunately. So we're going to have to really get ahead here. I don't want to use too much of my NOS. I just want to make sure I'm not in last. Oh, Molly, what are you doing, Molly? That was a bad idea. Okay. Get in front of Molly. Ooh, wow, that really slowed me down. No, Molly, I, I can't let you get ahead of me. I'm going to be a goner very early if that's the case. What is William doing? William, you brilliant bastard. Oh, I just saw an explosion. Okay, I'm glad I'm in last right now. These guys seem to be taking a lot of damage. William? Oh, yeah, <laughs> William's in the water. <laughs> okay, this is just a survival race. Thankfully, Robin's quite damaged as well. Hopefully, they hit a few more explosions. And Elliot got wrecked, not William. Okay, we might be further ahead than I expected. We just got to deal with Robin now. I do have someone right behind me. Oh, God, they both are. Okay. Uh, yeah, I just don't have the speed. I got to get a new engine for this thing. Oh, I wanted to go where w William did, but I freaking missed it again. Oh, wow. Oh, he didn't boom. Oh, I screwed up. I thought I could get through there. That was a mistake. That's okay. Robin's stuck as well. Everybody screwed up there. And Davis going in up top, dude. I am going on the most boring trails. Ah, oh, I just freaking hit that too. No, 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 no. Okay. Uh, am I in last right now? I am, but I am in third place. I got to pass Robin here. I got 30 seconds. I don't need to freak out just yet. I think I'm going to take a risk here. I thought the shark, I trusted you shark. I figured the shark mouth would have been a good thing to do. All right. Well, now my only chance is if someone has royally screwed up in front of me, I think I'm out in third place. <laughs> Screw you, Williams. <laughs> I got so lucky. I mean, we may as well use all our boost. It's our only chance. And come on, please tell me he's just fallen somewhere here. There he is. He's way ahead, unfortunately. But man, the coolest thing about this so far is the map design. This is fantastic. And I'm dead. Is this thing sinking? It's sideways now. I don't think it was sideways before. Oh my God. Oh, I thought I hit explosions there, but no, that's just me getting knocked out. Okay, well, all, all things considered, that went really, really well. All right, we can upgrade our engines. Unfortunately, I need more stars to upgrade them. We only have five stars here, so it seems like the um, upgrades are going to be slow to come by because, yeah, we're not earning many points here. Obviously, uh, you get one point for third and then three points for first. All right, let's finish up this career, though. Do the final folk race. Oh, I need an off-roader for that. Crap. Oh, we do. Well, the bruiser's on sale for quite a bit. I don't have... Oh, I have... I'm so close to having enough money. All right. Well, I guess we're going to have to do a heist then. Yo, if you see the newspaper ad, there's some good money available for someone to dispose of those blue tide vending machines. They have popped up around the garage. Sounds like a perfect chance to show the town how we feel about blue tide. All right. I just got to destroy crap. I I'm pretty good at doing that in this game. Oh, we're shredding them. Okay. So we just have to get three of them. There's one here. Is this time-based? Uh, one here, one here. Where's the final one? Oh, is this... Okay, this is the green one here. No, that's where we finish the mission. Oh, sorry, there's one in the truck over there, too. Okay, so I know, I know where they all are. I'm assuming this is time-based. So we're going to analyze our situation here. I just found some planks. Okay, so you can find the tools on the map before you just, you just got given them beforehand. So, actually, no, I think you have been able to find some around the map sometimes. We've got explosions in here. We just got a giant... Is that a sculpture? What is... Is that a gerbil? What the hell is this? This is definitely a design, right? That's not just a rock. That looks to be some sort of... Am I... Am, am I insane? It looks to be like a sculpture. Is that a frog? It's gotta be. It's a frog sculpture. What does this mean? I wonder what she's thinking. I want to know what's inside of her. Oh, is this like an actual, like, puzzle or something? Because there's lights all around, too. Or at least I think those are lights. Oh, I could just explore this. Oh, just looking around more. Uh, found this, like, hidden little cabin that 
has a locked front door. This is cute. Dude, the map design and teardown is just so good. Oh, a gun. <gasps> oh. Oh, I can find antiques. So it does pay to search. Okay, so that's cool. I need all the money I can get so I can upgrade my car. All right, any more antiques up here? Oh, we got explodies, so that's great. What is going on in here? A special hunting trophy. Head of a deer under the layer of varnish on the antlers. Traces of blood are visible. Ugh. Ugh. Can I, can, I, can I sell that? What the hell did I just stumble upon? All right, yeah, I don't really see much else. Let's just do the task at hand and see what we can do with this. So where am I right now? Oh, there's an underground part. Uh, okay, so I'm over here. We have one inside this place. So we'll just figure out. I'm assuming these are time-based. Ooh. Oh, we got a bunch of cool cars here. It's too bad we just can't steal one, you know? Where the hell is this? Is that... Oh, there's a little plane up there. Where the hell is it? All right. Oh, sorry. It's right here. So let me just save. Can't actually destroy it with uh, my sledgehammer. So I'm assuming we need something a bit faster. Obviously, explosions are probably the way to go. How the hell do... Oh, that's right. I need to shred them. I'm a, I'm a big dingus. So I don't think we really need to worry about time here actually at all. So we just got to bring them over. All right. Let's well take this car here. All right, and when in doubt, plank it out. So the only thing I can do anyway, so we just got to drag this over. Oh, I'm going to break that plank so many times. All right, there we go. There we go. I got to make sure this plank is nice and stable because I only have 21 more. <laughs> if I use 21 to move three blue tide machines, that's pretty bad. All right, but there we go. We'll go nice and slow. Damn it. I lost all my momentum. I just want to get through. Because there's a big blockade the other way. So why not just do it this way? I guess. <laughs> this is... When I don't have to be timed, I'm a lot more chaotic, I've learned. All right, anything in the junkyard? Where are all the explodies? I just need some explodies. Figured the junkyard would have a bunch of them, but no, that is not the case. Uh, ooh. What am I doing? Of course. Forklift. That's a great option. Get this off. Whatever it is. Actually, you know what? I better keep this forklift here and keep it safe because I'm going to need to put these things inside this crusher. And I just saw it. It's pretty big. So I think this is a very important piece of machinery because I don't know how the hell else I'm going to lift these things into it. So instead of driving this around and destroying it, yeah, we'll just put it over here so I can load them into the crusher. Uh, all right. So the one of them's in here. So this one should be easy to grab. I just got to drive this over. All right, not do the mistake that I did last time. I was way too lazy to clear this. Figured I could just break through. Probably smart to clear it. You know what? We're going to go around that way. It's a little bit longer, but I don't want to have to move that cargo container. It's just take way too long. There we go. That should give us enough room. Okay, thankfully the sides are built out of uh, wood. Actually, metal's still around this. I don't think I'm going to be able to get it through. Uh, is there really no other... Yeah, I have no way of destroying metal. So I'm going to have to use brute force to get in here, I think. Because it is just slightly too tall, as you can see. I don't think... Yeah, I'm not going to be able to get it out. You guys are evil. Oh, you know what? I think the best way to do this, actually, is to use a crane. Because we can destroy the roof. I just don't want to break this if I don't need to. We have multiple cranes right over here. Uh, I can use that one or the bigger one over there. I'm just going to use this guy because it's closer. Actually, this will also allow us to rescue my car over here. So we can kill two birds with one stone. Hook. There we go. So I think I have it now. Now I just need to lift. And voila! The first machine. And there we go. First one done. Should we do the double crunch? Actually, I don't know if time starts. I doubt it does. But I don't know if time starts when I start crushing these. So I may as well just go get the third here. Oh, I thought I broke my thing for a second there. Speaking of that, I did actually damage it quite a bit, so I got to be very careful here. Because I do got to get down in there. And there we go. Lift. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> okay, let's, let's do this right. I thought I could just push it through. Not the case. So we'll get in here. Make sure we can get this thing out. Move it. There we go. And that's looking good. All right. Out you go. There we go. All right, so we just need one more. I think I'm just going to run over there just to see kind of where it is. It's on the inside. We do have a, a truck here I might be able to put it on. Actually, you know what? I should probably bring the crane. I'm going to probably need it. It makes life way easier, so let's just bring it with us. Okay, so this is right 
in here. I think I'm going to try and do the roof. Just do a little tippy tap. See if I can actually get this thing in there. Don't want to break it, but I also don't have any other easy methods of destroying brick. So there we go. It's inside. Let me just make sure. Oh. Yeah. Okay. That's, uh, that's a bit of a problem, isn't it? All right. Let's do this the action hero way, shall we? And... <laughs> oh. Take two! <laughs> well, that didn't help. I thought it was going to be a much bigger <laughs> explosion. <laughs> Holy crap. Dump trucks be fast in this game. Anyways. Speed! That's what I'm talking about. All right. Get out, inspect my damage, and we'll just uh, slap a few of these bad boys on the front. And look at that. Pull that out. There we go. That's what you want there, bud. I put it perfectly in, into place, too. Calculated. All right, and we now we just got to make our way back. Now, the big question is, am I going to be able to lower this and get under the tunnel without dragging this too much on the ground and destroying my vehicle? I think... Ooh, I think I think we're good. We've got just enough room with that cord. All right, just scooch in here. There we go, and drop it. Okay, now for the satisfying crunchy crunch. Just gotta use, I think, this button. Doesn't work. Check the power supply. You gotta be kidding me. I should have did that first. Uh, okay. Check the power supply. Oh God. Um. Okay. So up here, I was thinking about knocking this down for fun. I'm glad I didn't do that. Check the power supply. Oh, flip switch. There we go. Got it. Is red good? I hope red's good. Okay, crisis averted, I think. And now we're going to start it. And, oh, it's real. It actually does it. That's right. Oh, that was super satisfying. We are done. Let's get the hell out of here and get paid. All right, I guess me finishing the mission is having a nice little nap because we already are at our place anyways. There we go. That took me 25 minutes. That's freaking embarrassing, isn't it? <laughs> All right, but good news. Now we should have enough money to buy, unless this thing's off sale now. Yes, we can buy the bruiser. I don't really want the bruiser, but I mean, it's on sale. We may as well buy it. And there we go. So now we can do the final mission on the folk race for newbies. Oh, it's a derby. Oh, it's gonna be so fun. Ram your opponents in cars to earn points. Use your nitro boost for more powerful hits. Now, is there strategy here? Like, should I be reversing so I don't destroy my engine? I don't know. I think this is... Okay, okay, easy. Hey, 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 come on, man. Let's work together. You guys are jerks. All right, we're gonna get some speed here. They're all fighting over there. I want to get a good one on Jordan here if I can. Because I don't like Jordan. Never mind, we're going for Elliot. There we go. That was freaking perfect. I feel like speed's key. So let's just keep doing this loop. And if we have a chance, hit someone for good. That was my best hit. Yeah, I like that the hits are point-based. This is very satisfying. Get out of here, Brown. Another 190 there. Brown is going to be a goner. There he goes. He's gone. I wrecked Brown. And now we're just doing small little hits. The point system's really smart. I've never seen a game like this. And we got seven seconds left. I tried to go in for a hit there. Totally missed. I don't even know if I'm doing well or not. Let me get a Jordan hit. Let me get a Jordan hit. Oh, that was a good Jordan hit for the end. And wow, we did pretty good. I managed to source you a nitro generator 3000 while you were gone. No need to thank me. It's by the stairs. What is a... Okay, so this is NOS, obviously. Uh, operate. Upgrade. Oh, crap. I didn't realize that cost that much. Okay, cool. So, obviously, the more nitro we get, the better. And that is pretty much the tutorial of this thing. What do we have next? You don't know me, but I've heard about you. Tomorrow evening, there will be a special show at Almond's Farm. I need... Almond's? Almond Man. Sorry. I need someone competent... There's good money in it for you. What do you say? I mean, I can't say anything because this game doesn't let me. <laughs> I like this. This is really cool having a mix of racing and then heisting. So it looks like we have we can do some newspaper deliveries now. As you guys know, I'm going to be doing all the heist missions. I just love them. Um, so yeah, I've never done newspaper delivery in this game. Let's find out what that's about. Is it a timed one? Pick up. Oh my god. What is this game? There was an N64 game like this. Oh, it's, it's, it's time based? What the heck? I don't even know where I'm going. Hold on. Uh, okay. Well, I'm definitely not going to do very well here. As you can see. All right. So we just got to go here. And then what do we do? Shoot it? Oh, frig off. How did you stop? There. Jeez. All right. So I didn't realize it wasn't going to let me plan it out. I have destroyed this poor car. Uh, so this is obviously a test run here. Here, we'll take a bit of a shortcut. Never mind. Never mind. That's not even a spot. I thought that was a spot because it was lit up. Oh, I'm, I'm all over the place. I don't even know how I'm going to have to do this. So we got to go way back there. I thought we had to do one here. 
Didn't we? Oh, no, that's the exit. Okay. <laughs> Let's plan out a route this time. All right, so these are my favorite type of missions. So we have one up here. Now, I did do some test shooting. It's not very easy to get it up here, so I need to, like, bank it, I think, um, and build some sort of net here. I still have my plank, so if I can just build a wall on this side, that will allow me to easily lob it in here, I think. That should actually be more than enough. I don't want to waste all my planks because I don't know how the other situations are going to be. Uh, so, yeah, we're going to set this up. Uh, I'm going to obviously be painting the road. So we just have this one here, and then we go all the way down here. So obviously, we'll shoot that one at the start, beeline it over to this one. Then we have to go down here and into the woods. Now, the woods are uphill. I know that. So we might want to actually do that one first. I don't know. I'll go back to that one. We'll just try and plan out a route here. I'm going to go to every spot, as they usually do in heisting, and make sure there's not stuff around it. Like uh, I saw over here, we want to obviously get rid of that car so we can make it over to here quickly. And you know what? Actually, we do finish the mission way back here. So I feel like the loop is smart. So I got to figure out a way to get from down here up to here. We might just need to run uh, for the final little bit. So yeah, this one's easy just right here. Um, So we'll just try and make this as easy as possible to like throw them in here. I want to block the back because they'll obviously slide back there. And I'm shooting them with a gun. So just trying to ensure that I don't have to fiddle with them. What's this one? Okay, so this is at the door. So I'm just going to put this like that so i can hopefully hit that and not screw up running over here i can already see where it is okay so if i put i should be able to shoot that from far away so if i put this big truck behind it i think i should be able to easily just hit this and bounce off of it hopefully all right so we'll put that there like that and then if i shoot it should hopefully hit the wheel and bounce into it uh what the hell who would think a piece of down the drain what put a piece of down the drain what is that in reference to? I just randomly saw that. This thing, man, there's so many secrets in this game. Oh, I'd love to do a whole episode just finding them all. But yeah, that was interesting. So then we got to go up here. This is, hmm. I wonder if I could get a vehicle. This is too far. This is way too far. I got to go all the way down here. This is a nice straight stretch right here. So if I put a vehicle like right here, that should be good. Feels like they struggle way too much trying to climb. So yeah, I think I'll get this SUV that we had and put it up there so I can just drive it down that trail. Because yeah, you can see I'm, I'm way faster just running. So hopefully I can even make this thing up here. Couldn't before. And on nice flat ground, this should be worth it. So we'll keep this here. All right, another thing I didn't think about is leaving. Uh, unfortunately, we're going back to our bed, I believe. And obviously, I can't run around and all the way in here. Yeah, finish the mission here. So, ah, oh, jeez. Um, I'm going to have to freak. Oh, that's cool. I'm going to have to find some sort of explosions, explosives, I should say, and open up that wall if possible. But I haven't found many explosives around. Oh, my God. There's cables here. There's freaking blow torches. There's guns. Oh, there's shotguns. There's no explosions, though, but that's fine. Uh, I can use this to break through the wall. I've been, I've been playing on hard mode, I guess. All right, so there's a gun sign here that tells me this is the perfect spot, right? Damn it, it's not. I was hoping to connect to that. All right, is that fast enough to get up? There we go. And then we can just jump in more or less. Obviously, I'll add a plank there, though, to make life easier. Actually, I'm just going to open this up a bit. Because we have extra shots, evidently, now. All right, so there we go. We can just simply run in. Oh. Oh, there's Blue Tide! It's a good thing I saw that, man. I need to pay more attention. Okay, Blue Tide's huge. That will allow us to run faster as well. I think we're ready. I haven't really practiced uh, shooting this because I can't until like, I grab it. So I don't know how far I have to be to uh, get these things done. But, huh, am I actually supposed to go in there? Okay, so this is a good test, though. You can see this is going to be very hard, but there we go. All right, screw it. Let's just try it and see what happens here. So, come on, get it first try. Oh, damn it. Yes. Okay, I, I think I have extras, so... Damn it, I grabbed the wrong car. I'm already screwing up. That's okay. It's okay. This thing's actually pretty fast. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, my God. Okay, I'm, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm going to try my best here. There we go. Okay, so they automatically delete. That's good to know. There we go. And let that go that way. Can I get it up there? Come on. Yes. Okay, just got to make sure I have enough left. 33 seconds left. This is going to be the long shot. I, the further I can get it, the better. Please, please get in. Oh, frick. Yes. Okay. This just shoots further than I expected. Uh, I got two shots left. Oh, come on, truck. Come on. This is still faster than walking, I think. 
All right, we just can't miss now, damn it. There we go. Wait, I'm done. Aren't I? Oh, that's so easy. I didn't even use my freaking blue tide. Ah, uh, here I am over preparing once again. All right, well, I probably could have did that in 30 seconds if I planned it a little bit better, but uh, yeah, being that we did it first try, I think we planned it out enough. All right, let's get back to racing. So we do have the Almond Man's Folk Race, but there's a bunch of other ones unlocked. I'm very curious about the world of Harvesters, but yeah, as you can see, this is not a small DLC by any means, and it seems like there's a bunch of different types of races. There's Pursuits, Fast and Foodious, so <laughs> food truck racing... A Grand Prix around Locale. This is so cool. Uh, I want to try the World of Harvesters, though. I mean, when you when you race in a Harvester, how much cooler can you get? So, I'm assuming, are these all the same? Yeah, they all have the same max speed. We shall use red. What are we doing? Are, are we going to be mowing? Why is everybody else not in a Harvester? Oh, Jesus. Okay, so it's literally just like before. Except this time, I'm in a har. I don't know if this is a downgrade or an upgrade. I mean, I do have my boost. Oh, God. I forgot I had rear wheel steering. I feel like I might be a little overpowered here. Get out of the way, Clark. How did I only get 30 for that, Clark? Yeah, I'm just going to make you get, give me way more. That's some BS right there. That should have been a good hit. All right, everybody is already so low. I have not taken any damage, really. Does that mean Rose is in first? Oh, Rose is... I am not getting a lot of points. Okay, so th I think that's where this thing is a downgrade. Luke, I, I need to get first place. Oh, damn it, man. There we go. There we go. I need all these points right now. Thank you so much. Back up to third. I think I'm giving them points by hitting, making them hitty into each other, maybe. There we go. I killed one, killed two. Just got 300 points. Oh, I was getting a bit worried there, but man, did we destroy everybody at the end. Literally, everybody was dead. Okay, well, it pays to use the harvester, I guess. All right, and that was the only one there. That was just a quick derby, but that's some great cash flow for us. Uh, so I'm really glad I did that. But yeah, I think I'm going to wrap up this episode here, guys. Obviously, uh, really love this DLC. As always with Teardown, they do a great job making the game totally unique again with their DLCs. And yeah, now we have a racing-based Teardown. How exciting. If you guys would like to see more, let me know in the comments below, and we can go deeper into this and maybe unlock some more of these epic races. But yeah, it's just so good to be back in a teardown. I hope you guys are enjoying it as well. And yeah, as always, thanks for watching and liking. I'll see you in the next one.